Hi everyone and welcome to this session with Farah McAdam from Glasgow Caledonian University. Um, Farah works with College Connect and Farah's here today to talk to you a little bit about thinking about your UCAS application, thinking about your progression routes and to talk about all the fantastic things that GCU have on offer for our students. So thanks very much Farah for joining us today. Not a problem. Um... As you've just said, Paula, um, I'm here just to give a quick overview of all the things that GCU can do um, for students that are applying from uh, after having completed their uh, SWAP programme. Um, we have a fantastic range of support on offer um, at GCU, um, and that begins um, before you become a GCU student. So um, right through from your application stage, um, we're here to, of course, offer advice on that, and that's what also what I'm here to do today. Um, but we also have various programmes and events throughout the year that are designed to orient you uh, with uh, coming to study at GCU and with the GCU campus before you arrive as a student with us. Um, we have various programmes like the Get Ahead programme, which introduces you to all of our uh, on-campus services and also our summer programme, the Transition programme, which is there to help introduce you to um, the study skills you'll need um, to succeed at university. Um, and then going on from that, of course, we have all our fantastic support services on campus. We have fantastic library staff. We have uh, staff in the learning development centres who are available to help you with your report writing, your research and your referencing. Um, and we have uh, financial services to give you advice on any funding you might need um, or funding support you might need, such as emergency funding. Um, and we also have a great student association and other great services on campus as well that I'm sure I'll talk about more during this interview. Fantastic stuff on offer at GCU for our students. I know everyone's always very excited when the UCAS applications open and we have our partner universities available for our students to choose from. So I'm taking it from what you've said there that you guys really welcome our SWAP students, Fana. Do you, do you look forward to getting the applications coming in from the SWAP students? Absolutely. Um, it's very, we absolutely love having SWAP students. Um, we are um, also very accustomed to welcoming SWAP students to begin courses at our campus. Um, over, we welcome over 150 SWAP students um, every year. Um, I'm pretty sure the number is bigger than that now, much, much bigger than that. Um, so we love having SWAP students at GCU. Um, we would also say that it's actually very important that you mention to us on your UCAS application that you're a SWAP student. Um, if you mention that you're a SWAP student on your application, then that um, makes you eligible for all of the extra support that we offer um, to all students that come from the college route. And that includes um, the transition programme, which is an excellent programme that you should certainly get involved in because it helps prepare you for um, higher education. We are very, very prepared for helping you out with anything you might need with all our support services. Um, our learning development centres and our other support services are very accustomed also to giving advice out to more mature students or uh, people that have returned to education after a long period out of education and maybe are unsure of where to start with certain things. So we are absolutely um, used to doing that and we are absolutely happy to have engagement from SWAT students. Um, so I think you make a really good point there, Farah, about the personal statement. Many of our students just now are going through their U UCAS application and they are getting ready to draft uh, their personal statement for the first time. And that can always be uh, something that students maybe worry about um, or they're quite anxious about. So putting that in the personal statement that they are a SWAP student, that, that's really important. What do you guys at GCU look for in a personal statement, Farah, when you get the applications in? Um, so one of the things we look for in a personal statement, um, and this is something our admissions team look at very closely. Um, at GCU, we, we pay a lot of attention to and what you put in your personal statement. So of course, it's very important. We look for a targeted personal statement. 
And this means that your personal statement should be oriented towards the subject area that you want to study in. Um, that doesn't mean that you need to mention a specific degree programme. Like you don't need to say, I want to do the uh, Bachelor of Science in Adult Nursing, for example. Um, what you would say is you really want to study Adult Nursing. Um, and you would target it towards that area if, of course, that's what you want to study. It may be something else. It might be uh, social work or it might be mechanical engineering. Um, but what's important is that you mention the subject area you want to study and um, you explain why you want to study that subject area through the experience you've gained, the life experience you've gained that's led you up to that point. And... Uh, why you want to study that area and how your skills that you've developed through your experiences up to this point also contribute to um, how well you'll do on the degree programme. So it's very useful to mention, for example, if you have um, any work experience or skills that you've developed through work then that help you or that will help you on the degree programme. It's also very useful to mention if you have any caring responsibilities and what skills those uh, caring responsibilities have helped you to develop um, that will help you succeed um, on the degree programme or any volunteering or any hobbies or interests that you have that have helped you to develop skills. For example, you wouldn't want to just list your skills off without any, um, any examples of how you develop those skills. Um, for example, if you want to say you're uh, well organized and good at problem solving, you wouldn't just say that without putting in examples of how you are able to show these skills. What you would instead say is that I manage care and responsibilities alongside um, my studies, uh, which are very intense and very high pressure. So um, I've been able to develop my organization skills through doing that. Or I would say, um, oh, um, I'm really, really good at problem solving because I have to solve this problem at work or solve this problem in my studies. Um, or I'm really good at teamwork because I've had to work at, at, on a team project with a group of people from perhaps diverse backgrounds or all different backgrounds and with all different opinions and stuff like that. So it's really important when you're talking about your skills and talking about the skills that you think will help you on a degree programme um, to provide examples of where you've used those skills in the past and where you've developed your skills. One of the things that we advise uh, students to do when constructing a personal statement is to list down the, the skills that they think will be useful in a specific degree programme and then to put next to that list examples of where they've maybe used those skills in the past and that provides a little framework for when you're writing your personal statement where you can uh, say that you have used a skill before and then give an example of where you've used it and that's a very useful way to construct your personal statement. That's great advice and we kind of work through that with students or students who are listening to this should be working through their prep for HE unit applying for university where they're kind of asked to do that same kind of exercise and you know, look at their skills and evidence their skills. So it's really great to hear from yourselves that that is exactly what, what students that are being asked to do. In terms of working through the, the prep for HE unit, Farah, I know that we've spoken about this before, but it might be quite useful for the students to hear what, why is something like preparing for HE, that, that module, why might that be important um, for students to focus on this year as they are preparing to come on to university? Uh, prep for HE is great and it's a very important unit to do because it introduces you to all of the sort of key study skills that you'll need when you come to university. Um, things like your, uh, your writing and your referencing and um, your academic reading and stuff like that. It's very important to be introduced to all of these things um, and the, the earlier you're introduced to those things and the earlier you get to grips with them, the better it is for you when you actually come to university because you've already got a head start on all of these areas and all of these study skills that you're going to need. Um, also, uh, doing your prep for HE unit uh, prepares you for some of the work that we do on the transition programme, which you'll be offered a place on. So you already, by having done the prep for HE unit, 
have a jump start on um, all of the other students that join us on the transition program. Um, also, you'll be able to contribute all your experience in this area already to us um, when we're working on the transition program. And of course, you'll be able to carry all of that experience that you've gained on the Prep for HE unit into your first year at university. So many of the things that you'll have to do um, when you come to university won't feel so foreign to you because you've already been introduced to these things beforehand. That's really good for students to know. And as they're looking at their UCAS application just now, they'll have a box in front of them with five UCAS choices. And there's such a wide range of different degrees on offer at GCU that you've mentioned, Farah, from mechanical engineering to nursing, social work, social sciences. So really good options for our students to consider um, and really good support services at GCU to, to back our students up. And um, once they actually come onto campus and, and start their degree study. In terms of applying for UCAS, do you have any advice for our students when they're looking at those five boxes? Um, perhaps they're maybe thinking, oh, I like three or four courses at GCU and there might be the temptation to fill those boxes with three or four choices. What would you advise our students to do, Farah, when they're looking at their UCAS application? So, um, I would advise for students that are looking at their UCAS application and looking at the choices available, um, that they really research their choices and choose um, the subject area that they want to do and stick with that subject area. So because you've got uh, five different choices you can make, um, doesn't mean that you should go for five wildly different subject areas. Um, at GCU, many of the courses that we offer are highly competitive which means the admissions team for those courses will be looking to see that you are really sure that that's what you want to do um, in order to consider you as a candidate for that course. So if you want to study uh, computer-aided mechanical engineering, for example, then you want to say that that's what you're interested in and you wouldn't want to say, for example, oh, I really want to do computer-aided mechanical engineering, but then I might also want to do um, something totally different, like like law or something like that. Um, you want to keep the the per, your personal statement and your UCAS application targeted towards the subject area that you're interested in primarily, and avoid choosing too wide a range of subjects because then the admissions team that's looking at that application might perceive it as oh they're not really sure what they want to do, so they might not be the best pick for this, uh, this course that they want to get into because there are other students that are displaying that they're really sure what they want to do in their application. Um, so I would say the key thing is to target your personal statement and target your application towards the subject area that um, you really want to study in. And you may choose um, a few different choices or five different choices that all, are all oriented around that one subject area. Um, but that um, makes it look as if you know what area you want to get into. So that's a better route to go down. For example, you might choose uh, social sciences or psychology or a couple of different subject areas in, in that sort of school or in that area. And that makes it appear that you, you have looked into the subject, you've researched the subject choices that you want to make and that you're choosing uh, subjects that are close to one another in discipline. And that's really your best, uh, your best bet for showing that, yes, this is the subject area you want to study in. That, that's great advice, uh, really clear advice for our students as well to, to follow, Farah. So thanks very much for that and for talking to us today. As you've mentioned, GCU have got a fantastic package of transition events and support events as well once students progress on there. So we'll certainly look forward to catching up with you later on in the year, Farah, and I'm sure our students will look forward to um, some of the events that will be coming up with GCU. But thank you so much for your time today. That's really helpful. And uh, bye for now. Bye, Farah. Bye. Thank you very much, Paula.